Hello everyone, Heather Ryder here, and I just woke up. And welcome to another episode of Wizard 101. Also, just so you guys know in advance, in, the, in about three minutes, uh, my timer on my microwave will go off, and I'll need to check on the cats because they're eating their breakfast. Uh, okay. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do a makeover. It's not July. Or it's not... Yeah... But yeah... Okay, what, what, one moment while I do the makeover. I'm guessing while I do said makeover, the timer I mean, might go off anyway. And now, just so you know, I didn't have to cook anything to put the timer. Okay, sorry about that. DON'T FUCKING GO IN MY CLOSET! Last time on Wizard City Zikai. Bastilla was the prima donna of the Fire Globe Theater decades ago. She had a bitter relationship with the Fire Elves, especially fellow actors. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. I'd heard that she had a thriving underworld theater career, but apparently she's decided to return with a vengeance. A banshee's whale curse works like an auditory virus. Rehearsals for that dreadful musical served as the perfect way to infect the masses. Thankfully, this particular whale seems to have no effect on humans, but we need to help the Fire Elves before their little brains melt. To reverse the curse, I'll need a Herkima stone to record Bastilla's voice on to get one from the rotting fodder in Dark Cave. Ah, good. This Herkima stone should work nicely to record Bastilla's wail. I'll override whatever noise the rotting fodder had imbued it with. Another to record our sickened beats upon. You'll just need to get Bastilla mad enough to let out a good shriek. Herkimer stones naturally capture the sound waves of the undead. I did a little reconnaissance while you were gone. Big surprise, Bastilla is in her old house, the Diva's Tower, down the street. Good luck! Alrighty. Actually, there is one thing I could do. It's thwap and dab! A few moments later. This is my favorite death spell. Yeah, that's my favorite death spell. She's better than it. Uh, 
let's see. Yep, ten over. Should be good. Scorpion spell reminded me, of course, I'm trying to make Converse to uh, speed up the, or like to make sure you guys don't get bored. Yeah. Yeah, I turned that sound effects down just a little bit because I could tell it was uh, over talking me, but anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, I. Yeah, the scorpion spell reminded me of this one uh, meme I saw where this dude uh, actually showed the picture of the so-called crab and he said, I was bitten by a purple crab and I don't feel so good. It wasn't a crab. If, if I do find that meme, I'll put it in this video. If not, you know what? Sorry about that. Sorry if you're hearing that in the background, that is my air conditioner. And that's one of my favorite fire spells. Pretty, pretty cute. I have a plan. Get down here with my spells against me. Uh, terrible timing for those 10 minutes, but uh, there we go. See, I, I had a plan. I had a plan. Yelling about Mowder. A few moments later. How dare 
Will you upstage my comeback performance? It was going so well, too. I laughed. <laughs> I cried. Oh, it was better than fire cats. I love fire cats. They're cute and adorable. And how dare you insult them? Enjoy this day, whelp. For when you bear witness to Malastar's Malibuus, then you will be sorry. This entire wretched city will be sorry! <laughs> I'm guessing Malum Opus is kind of is a uh, play reference. Hey, look and go though. Yep. Oh yeah, the pet promenade is going on. Wait, how am I earning points to that event and not able to? What? That's weird. Did you capture Bastilla's whale? Great! What's that? She warned there's still more to Malister's sinister plan? Wait, Malister's behind this? Yes. Malister? Drake? The Death Professor? Yes. I'd heard he blew himself up with the Death School after his sweet wife Sylvia passed. Truth be told, I'm not surprised. There was always a certain darkness about him. Sylvia was too good for that entire Drake family, if you ask me. Yeah, Cyrus may not be Malastar, but he makes up for being that much of an ass. Nonetheless, we still need to transmute Bastilla's whale into a cure for the Fire Elves. We'll just need a few things before we can get started. Yay! Unfortunately, the alchemical transmutation will require some equipment that I'm no longer privy to. One student turns himself into a humongo frog, and everyone wants the alchemy professor run out of town. Bartleby forbid Ambrose have my back. Why did he forbid him? Anyhow, I can make do with crafting equipment. Here's a list of items to borrow from Gloria Crendel in Old Town. Just, uh, don't mention my name. No, seriously, so uh, it, 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 there we go. I have a wireless USB. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I. I don't know if that was a joke or something. I can sense it's possibly a joke, but I'm generally curious if Barley actually forbid the Ambrose at her back. Because I honestly would not. Know. Yay, if I go that way. Uh, yeah. I think uh, it's their way of saying God forbid. Uh, so I'm gonna assume it's that, but I'm also gonna assume just as much of a possibility that he actually forbid he had her back. So for shadowing purposes, and I'm not gonna say Jack on what that is. So. You're just gonna have to wait and find out. And no, don't get your hopes up. It's not gonna happen for a really long time, so... I'm at least saying that bit so you don't wait in your chair every single episode thinking, Is this the part? Is this the part she's talking about? Is it? No. And I always said that bit, like I said, so you don't get your hopes up every single episode. Hello, young wizard. How can I help you craft today? You'd like to borrow some crafting items. Oh, I suppose that's all right. Let's see your list. Hmm. 
one large beaker, one crucible, five aludels, and a small athenor. Well, this is your lucky day. I just received a crate of those items. Of course, there are a few other items in the crate as well. Tell Greta she's welcome to them too. Call it an overdue parting gift. The shock. What? I can spot Greta's alchemy setup a mile away. Don't worry. Everybody knows she's been hiding on Firecat Alley. Oh, do say hello for me. <laughs> I will. I, I surely will. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. I can see by the gleam in your eye that you're bound for great things. Thank you. I want to fashion you a proper set of magical robes. They'll help you on your journeys and look good too, if I do say so myself. But the gobblers ate all my supplies. I'll need you to get some more so I can make the robes for you. I'm sure you can do it easily. Well, you know what? I, I, I don't see why not. Thank you. I, I really appreciate the offer. I'll need good cloth. Shawls from the Haunted Minions on Triton Avenue will serve nicely, along with fabric from Fire Elf Hats in Fire Cat Alley. Daisy, it's fine. She's, get, she's getting to the point. Finally, I'll need good leather. The belts the Cyclopes wear will be perfect. You can get some in Cyclops Alley. Go forth, young wizard. Alrighty. Yeah, we'll obviously have to do that in another episode. And I normally don't do any side quests, it's just that, you know, she requested it to me right off the bat. That and, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 the entirety itself of Wizard City's, you know, storyline has been changed. And I've been thinking about that and I'm like, since they're like brand new spanking quests, uh, you know, why not try them out? on video and see, you know, uh, what you guys think about them. Yeah, I generally think this is a fair exception, you know, if, if the, the entirety Wizard City, uh, their quest lines have been changed completely. So I'm thinking it's only fair that we try it out while recording and see what it's all about. Of course it will be a, obviously uh, n not much of a long uh, last landing uh, you know, side quest series, you know, but, you know, uh, I just thought revamp equals opportunity and accept it. This is like, like big, like phew, big, you know. How did it go? You got everything on the list? Yes. And Gloria says hello? Yes. Oh, let's just get this done. Go set up the alchemy table over there. Okay, you. Ooh, that equipment is not. Wow, well, okay, way to interrupt her band again. There we are. Now bring me the potion and let me check your work. Wow, A plus work here, young one. Good work. Now for the next part of the plan. The curative intonation potion will work similarly to the initial curse, so you will need to administer it to an influential fire elf. Alacane's swift arrow is the most famous fire elf actor alive. Once he's cured, just explain to him that it's up to him to pass the cure on to his people. You'll find Alacane in the Fire Globe Theater. I've imbued your wand with the curative potion. Now go give Alacane a good thwacking! It's thwacking time! Just thwack it. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, obviously... Uh... Yeah. 
You cats better be nice. Dynamite! Dynamite! That's what I fucking thought. Yeah, walk off. Okay, sorry about that. Just so you know, though, Dynamite is Motor's brother. They were in the same litter, and Tiger is their adoptive brother. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll pause the recording real quick so I can re-add them. Alrighty. I'm thinking to myself, I have a better budget in recent months. I'm thinking, why not just purchase 10 of one of these packs? Just one. Just one of these packs. One of these packs. You know what? You know what? I will be right back. Okay, everyone. Welcome to... Yes! Hello! I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes... Welcome to... Welcome to the this new gig I'm doing. I don't know, a uh, crab pop wheel maybe. I don't know. The name still in works. Astrologer's packet is then. I didn't invite you to here. Cosmograph. Yay, Cosmographer. Uh, beetle cream soda. Fries. Daffodil. This is on loop, right? Okay, just make sure. The uh, fries, lavado, celestia main theme, sprinkle cupcake, mirage, chrono verge theme. Ooh. Tiny fish. Yes, hello. I was uh, wondering if you could play water mole again. torch. Mm, which one, man? Spicy bubblegum, tasty biscuit. Red huckleberries, I don't really do huckleberries. Uh, polymorph ice horn. Polymorph into an ice ice horn for six rounds. Desi matos. Interesting. Cattail Celestian Diamond Floor. Ooh, fancy. I love it. Mirage Converge theme. Tasty biscuit. Copper. Hound painting. Polymorph Treant. Polymorph into a life treant for six rounds. Ooh, Cosmographer's Orrery Staff. Yeah, we're getting bounced up today. Chunk of Ore. Sword Fern. Ooh. Polymorph Treant. Deep, mu deep Mushroom. Crab Painting. Beetle Cream Soda. I'm really going to sell this in the bazaar. Anyway. Wizard City Dream World theme. That's nice. Uh, Stargazer's Boots. Uh, yeah, my shared bank is almost full, so I'm probably just gonna have to feed this one of my pets. Uh, potato Chips. Tiny Fish. 
strawberry cupcake. These snacks are gonna help me with the pet primary event. Uh, grass. Ooh, a Valencian orange. Love it. Anyway, uh, Stargazer's Rocket 7 Day. Okay. Uh, green banana. Red huckleberries. Face palm. Ooh, I love this one. Uh, fountain painting nickel. Ooh, pet jellyfish, yay! Stargazer's Rocket 1 Day. I could probably use this one for when I record a video one day. For the seven day one, uh, I would have to record a lot. I'm guessing, I, I'll, I might just do that during like uh, Christmas or something so I can just record those in advance and stuff. So I can edit them during January and stuff for seven day mounts. I mean, uh, Sunion, uh, Beetle Cream Soda, Galleon Painting, Red Huckleberries, uh, Potato Chips. Yeah, for seven day stuff though, I'll, I'll figure something out. Like basically, probably only during holidays where I know I won't be posting anything and just record them. Ooh, Cosmographer's Tunic. I'm getting a lot for bounds. This Fortune Cookie. Oh. Okay. Well, they all have the fortune being eaten. Uh, Bone. Polymorph Gobbler. Polymorph into an Ice Gobbler for six rounds. Bag of Jelly Beans. Chariot painting, fountain painting, uh, another cosmographer's cowl, uh, astromancer's cowl, uh, I'm probably gonna have to feed that to a pet because of, well I might just keep them in my bank maybe, yeah I'll just keep it in my bank anyway, um, wizard city dream world theme, polymorph mander, polymorph into a balance mander for six rounds, Sunion. Those are hard to get. So. Ooh, Stargazer's Tunic. Okay, I'm guessing this is the universal one. Uh, cheese Broccoli. Fred. 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 A bread fruit bush. Hound painting. Two Sunions. Hey. Polymorph Treant. Okay, uh, well, fuck. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes Oh, I was actually brought back to, you know what, that's brilliant. Uh, okay, yeah, hold on one moment. You could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? And it seems like all is dying And would leave the world to mourn in the distance, hear the laughter of the 